Atlanta County Public Library System. And today I'm going to show you how to do a really fun STEM activity. This is a marble maze. Now the only thing you're going to need for this is a marble or a ball of some kind, especially a little one. And then you will need a paper plate, some straws, and some tape. And a marker would be very helpful. So the goal of this is to create a maze that you'll be able to move around the plate and you'll be able to move your marble around from place to place like this. So the first thing to do is you're going to get your paper plate out and you're going to get a pencil or your marker and you're going to draw out the length of your maze and all of the different parts and how long you want each line to be. From there, you're going to take your straws and you're going to cut them up. And you can either attach the straws with tape or glue. I highly suggest not just making one path, but here you can see I actually created a few different back stops. So for example, uh, if you roll this here and you were to go in here, it's a dead end. It makes it a lot more fun and a lot more challenging. So after you attach your straws with either glue or tape. You'll just take your marble. Also, oh, I suggest writing start and finish so you know where to start and finish your maze. And from there, you'll be able to roll it around just like that and see, oh, you might hit a dead end, but ultimately you end up back at the finish line. And this is a really fun and easy activity to do. The whole cost of materials for this should be less than two or three dollars. And it's very, very fun and you can have endless adventures with this and do all sorts of different mazes and just try different things out and see what you like. Also, don't be afraid to maybe add paper to make it a little more fancy, use different colors. You can have a lot of fun with this. Thank you.